guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. Today we are taking you to Herky and Milton's new park. Hello, Herky. We're going to your new favorite park this morning, this afternoon, I should say. You're gonna take your friends there, no, Herky. So we, oh, you're so sweet. We've been taking Herky and Milton to this park um, maybe three or four times so far, and we love it. It's a new spot that we discovered near where we live. There's never anybody there, so we can let Herky and Milton run free, and it's super nice and fenced off. So we're gonna show you all that good stuff. I want to share with you this today because we want to talk about the importance of discovering new places with your dogs and how beneficial it can be. So we discovered this park maybe this winter. It was all full of snow and. Herky and Milton love to run around there in the snow but now that the snow is melted and it's full of green they just love to run around there and now that the weather is nicer we can hang out there on the grass as well so we just thought we would take you along and play with Herky and Milton. We pack some essentials for us now that it's warmer outside and before we go is of course some balls for Milton to play. She's like right here. She's really excited. And since it's hotter now this is essential so remember to always bring water for your pups we have this small bottle that works well with, oops, because it acts like a little bowl as well. So we love to fill this up and bring it with us. Are you girls waiting for your lunch? This is Milton's lunch. This is Herky's lunch. This is turkey and bison. Come here, Milton, baby. Yum, yum. All right, how about a little hip and joint chew before we go running, huh, girls? Herky shark. Milton sit. Good girl. Hey, birthday boy. What's up? What's that? Oh, sorry, Herky. This is my new purse. What does it contain? Keys, hand sanitizer, wallet, Gum and an Andy Chung special floss. <laughs> All right, so today is your birthday, and we're going to sit in the sun. I put my sunscreen on already. Are you sunscreened? Nope. All right. I want to have a sunburn. All right, let's do it. Turkey, are you excited? Where are we, Turkey? She's shaking. Are you shaking, Milton? Are you excited, Milton? Hi, Herky! We're here. Okay, Daddy gonna take you. Guys, it doesn't say no dogs, but you can't golf here. How do you guys like the new Kabbalah line? Oh! Isn't it sexy? It's so beautiful. Milton is wearing peach bellini. Herky is wearing mint julep. This one is so, so popular. Come on, girls. It looks like Easter. Ah, 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 ah. Go girls, go! Ah. <laughs> okay, Herky. Guys, so have you seen our video about coyotes? I'm really paranoid about coyotes and why I love this park is this huge fence around. No coyotes could jump that so we could supervise better. Milton! Come on! Turkey did a big one. Guys, always be a responsible dog owner and pick up after your dog's poop. Even if this field is practically unused by anybody, there's never anybody here. We always pick up the food. Especially because it's a nice field. You don't want to get your dogs banned, so pick up your poo. Always pick up the poo. Okay, let's go put it in the garbage. Oh, Milton! So, if you guys have two dogs, do your dogs do this too? Milton is always running just after Herky, barking in Herky's ear, biting Herky's ears. Hi! 
doing this all the time. So we'd like to know if it's a little sister syndrome to always be after the older one. Because Herky could really use some alone time. She is alone all the way over there. Herky always likes to go in the furthest corner possible. You guys see her? So, how do you feel at 38? I got through. Yeah. So, can you imagine that last year, exactly during the, your birthday, we were in quarantine coming back from LA? Yes. And I don't know what we did that day, but it's been a year and we're still pretty much in the same situation right now in Montreal. So, in the past year, what would you say was your most memorable moments? That's deep. I know. Your best memories for the last year in quarantine with Herky and Milton. Yeah, let's make it a bit easier. What did you like about the last year, literally? I, th I so thought tall. the last year was great. Like, yeah. I enjoy <laughs> being forced quarantine, so then you really get to spend more time with the girls, more time at home, you appreciate your home more, you get to spend more time with your spouse, less time with social events that you don't really need in your life. So I actually, I love quarantine. It was a great year. I agree. It was pretty good too. It's just, I, I didn't get to see family as much. I usually see my sister and my mom a lot, but now it was very different. We usually always went to my mom's for dinners on Sundays. Yep. So that was a bit different, but Herc and Milton were never happier, I think. But then, then again, they're always with Exactly. Us. It didn't change much from us, but we just, I don't know. It was. I did not like the travel restrictions because you know you guys know we, we like to spend a lot of time going places, being on the road, going on treks with Herky and Milton, seeing places. So that part was a bit a, Yeah, it was hard. a dud. Mm -hmm. It's a bit boring sometimes, but overall, terrific year. I agree. What would you say COVID taught you? Everything that you need to do, you do it now. You do it now. You can't wait. You can't say, oh, I'm going to go see this band in like next year maybe or in two years. Maybe there won't be a next year. Maybe the, the band not going to be there again in two years. True. Aerosmith, Las Vegas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so everything that you guys need to do, like all the money you need to spend, all the fun toys, you got to do it now. All the family, go see them right away. That's true. Like if you need to tell your mom that you love her, you don't wait. You, you don't think about it. You just tell her. Don't waste time. Hey, Herky. What you eating? Herky. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, girls, no fighting. There's two. <laughs> Cuties. Oh my gosh, you're so fast! Alright, Milton! Why is it important for us to take the girls to parks and different places? It's super important to take them to different places because Mental stimulus. It's important for your dogs to experience and smell different things and just change their, like reset their minds and put themselves in a new situation. And when you go, you take them for a walk, an actual walk, there's all these stimulus that are really beneficial for them. They get to smell different odors, like they follow a lot of trails. So it's like a lot of mental stimulus and when they go back home afterwards, they're going to be much, much calmer. So it's not the same thing. You can't just let, leave them in your backyard and say, oh, he already played outside for an hour. It's not the same thing as bringing them somewhere and changing the scenery altogether. When dogs are in their backyard, or it's, it becomes the same thing as being in their house. It's not because it's outside that it has the same mental benefits as going on an actual walk. If your dog is just in the backyard all day, every day, day in and day out, day after day, it's going to become the same environment for them. 
they're used to the smells they're used to the sounds it's nothing different so it's like you if uh, you're just at home all the time if you're just on your balcony all the time so it's not the same thing the perfect example is when COVID hit and it affected so many people because you're doing the exact same thing and you're at the exact same spot all the time so like you your dogs need mental stimulus they need to go to different places smell different things and it's also good for you to take your dog out to new new places be it a new track a new street a new neighborhood anything to walk them and we love to take them to different places for that reason are you guys happy yeah let's not overexert milton here milton is so tired she's so winded right now but she still wants to play also when the girls play when your dogs play Make sure they don't overexert themselves. Yeah, especially during summer. Because they always think they can go for more. So you're like, oh, they can play more. But they don't understand their own limits. Especially Herky and Milton. They have more fragile hearts. They get, hot, they get hot like really fast. But they don't know when to stop. They just want to play forever. And at one point, one time, Herky played so much that she got a seizure. It was really worse. And she was being babysat at yeah. So you have to manage your dog's activities. And look at her tongue. You see she's way too tired to be running, but she wants to run more. Like, look at her Keith. Ew, look at her eye. <laughs> I'm built in, you're tired. Relax a bit. I'm gonna give you water. Do you want water? Come on. Let's go get water. Come on, girls. Let's go get water. Herky wanted water. Herky wanted so much water that she choked. Hard. Hard. What would you say you miss most about pre-COVID? <laughs> oh! Okay, thanks, Herky. California! Oh, yeah, maybe you want to tell them the news. So, we have secured a house in California for Herky and Milton to grow up in and grow old in. So, we have a new house in California. But we can't get to it for now. And it was purchased all virtually. <laughs> it's in the area that we've never been to. It's in a nice suburb that has a lake view. We're not going to say where. But we've never been to that area. We've never been to the house. We've never been close to that area. But we're super excited. Yay! So to answer my own question, I think I miss traveling a lot. But I also really, really miss restaurants. Restaurants, man. Restaurants were a big part of my life. I used to meet up with a lot of girlfriends and just people in general. My, my family a lot for restaurant outings. And I realized that a lot of our social life was meeting up people to go eat. No, that's no more. Restaurants haven't been open in Montreal in like a year. I think restaurants is your favorite thing in the world. Yeah, food and restaurants is like, it, oh, sorry. It's it. It's oh my vacation. god, you know what else I miss? The beach! Oh, going to an all inclusive resort, <laughs> an actual beach where you can swim. Oh man, and really eat and relax. So much. Oh. Would love to go to a beach resort, honestly. What about you guys? So leave in the comment section below what you guys miss the most during this whole COVID pandemic lockdown and what lesson, what was the best thing that came out of it for you? Positive, think positive. What was the best thing that you guys learned in the last year or so regarding the lockdown? It's almost been like a year. No, it has been over a year. A year and one month since yeah. the real lockdown. Yeah. So yeah, what did you guys learn? Lessons. Let us know. Are you girls happy? Are you tired now? Wanna say bye bye to your friends? All right guys, we're gonna end the vlog here. Remember to enjoy the little things in life and to take your dogs out to new spots. See you next time.